Hi there, this is Aaron Short. I hope you're well. Um, I found a few things out with my Helix software lately that's really um, surprised and excited me. I wanted to share it with you just in case you're having any, issue, any issues yourself and this might help you. Um, first of all, as a, a person that plugs in live and really cranks gain to optimize my gain levels and get things running really hot just below the red and clipping, I was always doing that with my, my digital interfaces at home. So I have a focus right here below the screen, you can't see it, but I would do the same thing. I'd plug my guitar in, get that cranked really high, and then load up native or similar um, software on my computer, and it always sounds harsh and digital and distorted. Now from watching um, a video on YouTube uh, with the guys from Line 6, they state that you should have a line level selected and keep the gain at zero at... Um, you know, zero, don't, don't add any gain, because that can really cause problems. So ever since doing that, obviously I have a lower input signal going in now, but if you look at the screen on here, it's hitting about minus 36, there's no additional gain. Now all my presets are working great. They all sound great, there's no weirdness going on, and it's just made everything sound so much better. So really watch for that um, digital clipping, you do not ever want that. Same on uh, like the Helix itself, the floorboard, if you're playing into it, make sure you bypass the amp block, for example, here. Make sure that level there is the same with it off as it is on. And if it's not, then go to the uh, channel volume, bring it down. Because, you, again, you don't want to be pushing any extra volume in there. You, want, you don't want to risk any chance of digital clipping. So that's really helped me with native. Native now sounds awesome. Um, also, of course, make sure that you're not hearing your dry signal through it. Make sure that's muted in your, um, in your input device, like your Focusrite I have. Um, that's made such a difference now, I absolutely love it. So that actually got me into using Native more. Now, I tried the AX8 and I learned, this is my second tip. I learned a really cool thing on there is that there's like a, a, a graphic EQ from the Mesa Boogie series, and there's one on here that I'll show you. It's the Cali Q graphic, right? Now on the AX8, they have this on every amp, and it, I realized it was so powerful to be able to shape the amp with that all the time. And I thought, well, maybe I could use it in Helix, because Helix has that, but Helix is even better, because you can actually have, on one snapshot, you could have a compressor, multiple EQs, um, all at once, all assigned to one snapshot. That's, that's even more powerful than like what's on the AX8. So if you check this out, this is my clean sound. This is how I build a patch. I'd be very happy with that. Great clean, always got a great clean sound. Now for my drive, I, as an old school player, I'd feel, okay, I can just throw on a drive here, tweak these around a bit to get a nice tone, and it should sound great. But to me, that always sounds digital and harsh, and I could never get a good sound to the extent where I felt like, well, it's just, it's just digital, it's, it's no good for me. You know, I'm, I'm more of an analog kind of player, right? Um, for example, here's a sugar drive going straight in from my board. It's warmer. I love that drive. But from messing around with the EQs, I'll just turn that off. From messing around with the EQs, I realize if I turn on the, the, the pedal and the EQ at the same time, and then use that EQ to shape specifically, I mean, you could use any of the EQs here, but by using this Cal EQ graphic and uh, boosting some bass, cutting some of the real harsh high sounds, I can actually get really close to that pedal. Check this out. <laughs> Just with a little bit, that's like minimal tweaking, that's not that's nothing. You could even add you could add two distortion pedals to this snapshot, and you could have three EQs and really dialed in. And you know, yeah, no one likes tweaking, but you could do that in in a very short space of time, I'm sure. I mean, I've gotten really close. I'll just show you again. I would save this to the crunch snapshot. So I would just a crunch would be um, the EQ and distortion on and clean would be EQ and distortion off. Okay, so when I go to crunch, these two come on like that. Just make sure everything else, yep, that same amp. And then look, check it out. I'll just go to clean. Here's the real pedal. Yeah. 
and here's the new one. And that just blew my mind. It's so simple, but so obvious. I can't believe I didn't do it before. And I could do that then for my heavy sound as well. Or I could actually, in fact, switch to a new amp for heavy, which is really cool, something you can't do on a pedal board. And then use EQs and pedals. You can really dial in the sound that you want, even select a new IR for that heavy sound. Um, for me, it's a major breakthrough, and it's actually made me want to buy another Helix Floor, and I've actually ordered one. So I really hope when I get the floor, I'm going to do a video comparing my, my analog board. I'm going to recreate it with the floor, straight into my amp and to the board. I'm going to see if I can remake my board. There's a few pedals I can't make because I've got a few specific um, pedals, but i say 80% of my board can be easily replicated on a Helix. And hopefully going forward with firmware updates and things, I'll be able to get, you know, get rid of the whole board completely. But I do, I, do, I do love the board. It's nice to have. But I'm so excited that I can now match these tones using that EQ trick. And if you're having any issues with getting good tones, I think you should try that too. So please do and let me know in the comments how you like it. Um, if you've got any tips for me, then please post them because I'm, I'm, I'm learning all the time about this stuff, you know. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it. I want to build this up and uh, make a little channel here where people can learn and help each other. And um, your support is very much appreciated. Um, I hope you learned something here and I uh, hope you're enjoying this, uh, this journey as much as I am. So until I see you next time, happy playing.